Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I sincerely hope that you all are safe and doing good during this pandemic. Recently, I posted a question on the community as to who would be interested in a basic course of solving CFD problems using MATLAB. And I got a very positive response to that question. So I decided to put together a series of videos showing you how you can solve uh, fundamental problems of fluid dynamics using MATLAB. As of now, I don't have a very strict uh, course outline in my mind. Uh, so if you know or if you want something specific that you want to be addressed during these lectures, which is still in the context of basic CFD and not advanced, I would be very happy to cover that. So in the video today, I would want to uh, share with you a brief outline of what we would be learning through this series and uh, what you can expect from this course. So let's jump into it. The first module would talk about the mathematics of finite differencing or the finite differencing method. So we would learn how to obtain the approximation of derivatives. As you will see that the mathematical equations that we would be dealing with, they would have some derivative terms, whether a derivative in time or a derivative in space. So we want to know how we can use finite differencing to evaluate those derivatives. There are three different uh, ways in which we can use this scheme, which is a forward difference, a backward difference, and a central difference. If it sounds too complicated as of now, don't worry, we would be talking about these individually later. We would learn which of these schemes are more accurate and how can we improve those accuracy if they are not very accurate to start with. Next, we would learn how we can use these, use these approximations in the context of fluid dynamics. So we would be dealing with two different types of differential equations, an ordinary differential equation and a partial differential equation. And we would be learning how we can use a finite differencing for an ordinary differential equation in this particular module. Specifically, we would be seeing how we can obtain a discretized form for a differential equation. The second module I'm thinking would be focused more on the MATLAB side of the things. So first, we would be learning how does the interface of MATLAB look like. And to show you what I mean, let me switch over to how the MATLAB in my particular laptop is looking like. So I have a copy of MATLAB R2018 and I believe that uh, there is 2020 available as well. So as you can see that there are many tabs on the top and the whole interface is divided into certain parts, which is current folder, command window, editor, and workspace. So we would be learning what are these various components. From my experience, I've spent most of the time on MATLAB in either command window or the editor. So we would want to know what is the difference between these two. And finally, we would be writing our first code using finite differencing method in MATLAB. And I would tell you how you can start a basic code, how you can save it, and how you can obtain and see the results more importantly. As of now, I thought that uh, it would be nice to go practically for this course, and therefore we would be solving certain equations using MATLAB. So the first equation that I thought would be a good starting point would be the Laplace equation that you might have come across in the subject of heat transfer. To take things up a level further, we would be talking about advection equation and how we can solve with MATLAB. And finally, we would arrive at the Navier-Stokes equation and I would show you some simple ways in which you can solve Navier-Stokes equation for certain type of flows. So I hope that this would give you a certain idea of what you can expect from this course. And next week onwards, I will try to work on the module one and upload it. It would be helpful for me if you can provide your feedback on this outline so that I can plan those lectures accordingly. And just to stay up to date, 
don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you can get the notifications once I upload those videos. Thank you and stay safe.